So today we are working on the beautiful Magic School Bus. Let me show you uh, what we've done so far. We've got a lot of stuff done, but we finally got all the flooring in, in the bus. I'm gonna get a nice little piece of clean wood right there I'm cutting. Build a little cap for that so you can't really see that. Paint it gray. Got the couch all nice and built. We're gonna, I'm putting a clean piece of wood right here. Cover that up. Couple more spots, couple walls, I can do that too. And just a couple pieces of wood left. This is the water pump that I am going to be using. It's just like a basic RV one. Got that at Pelco. And got the water tank underneath there too. It is a, I think 30 gallon? I am pretty sure that's a 30 gallon water tank. That should be pretty good for us. We can refill it, do whatever. And uh, one sweet thing that I found out that I didn't really know on this bus, well, I knew it worked, but entrance door, close and open. I flipped that switch right there, and that door just like, psh, psh, opens and closes automatically, so that's pretty sick. Just a little switch down here that you have to switch. But if you close that, you won't be able to get in, so like this is, it'll be like locked, so you can't get in. So then you gotta climb to the back door. Got the wood all drawn out and measured correctly for the front piece of the couch. Okay, I just gotta say one thing. After I put on my nice Piv Viper, like construction shades, I went to work and I'm pretty proud of what I just did. It was pretty hard. Let me just show you what I need to do first. So you see that, all that right there, it's not covered with like nice clean wood that you can paint and comes out really nice. But if you see down there, there's a bunch of different angles and stuff to cut around. So I measured up all that and I made this and I hope it works here. My measurements, it came out, I drew it out. So I'm going to first try and just fit it in. Hopefully it works. Okay, yo. That is pretty good right there. It is nice, pretty snug against it. I'm just gonna cut this extra piece off right here. Everything else fits pretty nice over there. I'm happy, I'm really happy with that for doing it first try. And uh, use this nice rigid brad gun, I think it is my dad said. Yep, brad gun. It's pretty nice, hooked up the air with this huge air tank in the garage. Probably see in the corner a little bit. But came out pretty clean for this so far. So right here in the kitchen area, I just built this little like in the wall cabinet kind of thing. I have an idea. I'm going to do like a little guard on the front right here. I have a little, uh, little idea how to spice it up. So we're going to put like Pop-Tart snacks, I don't know, spices, something. Right here, just some more storage. That would be cool. Use all the space. For this little area and this little cover area right here so there's gonna be a little extra so i'm just gonna go till the, as much as i can right here and then gonna be another piece to cover all that but here are my measurements hopefully they're right Today in this bus video, oh, we're going to be working on the bathroom floor. My nose is running so much. But we're going to be working on the bathroom floor. I've already stuck on a couple tiles. Looking pretty good. I just made this too. Can't really see the sun's like blinding it. It's a little dashboard you can put stuff on. I just thought it looked pretty cool. Put the pallet wood inside of it. And then we're just going to put up some more clean wood. All of the couches everywhere. But here's the flooring so far. 
And one of my favorite spots we got in this bus is it's pretty sick. I had to have a snack. A snack shelf. So I got three snack shelves. Boom. Snacks. The tiles I got, they're pretty thick. You just rip this back piece off right here. Here's what the bathroom looks like after one, two, three, four, five, pretty much six tiles. It's looking pretty good. And this one right here, I gotta cut a little piece to go right there. That's five and one fourth wide. So I cut this tile with a jigsaw. It comes out pretty good, so I can do that for right there. Then uh, there should be like two pieces left, and the bathroom will be done. And a lot of people. Uh, that are making school buses always wonder what's underneath this little metal cover on the flooring that is your fuel pump so uh, i just made a little cover for it i'm going to paint it gray it'll match the floor you're still going to see it but it needs to be accessible if that breaks so i just left that i don't know if i got showed you either water we got a water tank i just gotta find a fridge there's a fridge like three hours away that i'm gonna like travel to and not go get that but that's still kind of far so Finally got the bathroom flooring all done. A couple of little pieces were a little bit of a pain. I'm pretty happy with it. Tiles were pretty easy to install too. Came out pretty clean. Just used two full pieces for right there. So there's no cuts. So right now I'm gonna go take a trip to the Home Depot to get two little things. Maybe a couple other tiny little things cause I need a new molding. Molding I got was the wrong one for right there so I'm gonna get some of that and maybe some maybe some more molding to put around the edges of the bus a couple of small pieces day two working on the bus so today pretty easy but we got some legs this is what I want the legs for the table to be some square aluminum got some locking hinges we're going to try to mock up this uh sign table today that should be pretty easy get some legs then i'm going to try to get this nice clean piece of wood right here box that off clean that up maybe put this front wall up and then cut this molding that should uh nail right in pretty easy And later, if I'm feeling like it, I want to go to AutoZone, see if they have a new little seat cover, cool one, tan maybe. Just, even all black, but just want a full, I want like a full cover so it'll hide all the green. Might be pretty cool. And then, I want to break out this nice wood filler and fill in all my cracks. Just in the middle of some uh, custom fab work, as you guys can see, this pallet wood, it's a little high above this 2x4 and that little 2x4 is going to be a little ledge for like an arm probably a cup, cup holder or two and there's going to be like a clean sheet of wood on it and uh I didn't want it to be nice and flush so I got to just break that off I just shoved the screwdriver into it so I just got done boxing in this little armrest where the table's going to rest on then we can mount the table up and see how that looks but it came up Pretty good. Nice clean flush finish. Some nice clean cuts. So I'm gonna grab my mom and she can help me hold up this table when I can uh, put the hinges in the right spot, screw those on, and then start fabbing up our legs. 
And just like that, our little bump sign is attached to the wood. But uh, we're going to have to upgrade this back piece of plywood right here. It's cracking a little bit. Either I might just leave it and break it or f fix it once it breaks. I'm not going to be folding it down and playing with it that much. I'm just going to be leaving it straight up. Like it's going to fold out, but it can fold if we need some. Uh... But I am really happy of uh, how the my like dashboard came out. You can just like set stuff on there. Put a couple plans, put something. So that came out pretty good. I'm uh, pretty glad how it came out. Just got it done with the couch. After I grabbed a piece of paper and drew out what I had to cut, it made it way easier to uh, make it right the first time. Just got to do a little bit of sanding, a couple of little patch spots, but it's a pretty good job. It looks pretty clean. But for right here, because the roof's not square, it's pretty curved and round. I think tomorrow I'm gonna get a piece of cardboard and like fold it so it makes a seam, then cut out the cardboard and I'll make the cardboard fit there so then I can just trace it on a piece of wood because I have an idea of what I want for right here. I want to make this a brick wall out of some like thick brick. It's like wood planks, but it looks like real brick. I want to get that right there. I thought that would be pretty cool and different. Here's a little before of this garbo. No, look, seat's in good condition. There's no rips or anything. But it's just like green, and there's just like half, half cover on it. I mean, it looks better with just a plain seat. But we got a nice seat in this box. We're going to unbox it and slip her on. Ooh, the quality of this seat is pretty good. It already feels really nice. It's like soft, but like rubbery leather. I don't know. Okay. So after I did a little bit of uh, digging inside of this uh, seat cover, I noticed there were some straps that were inside of it that I didn't uh, attach. My camera's uh, battery's about to die, but there's like clips and clamps that can uh, make it tighter, so I'm going to put these on. And here is the final product. It looks way better in, uh, in person than in camera. But we got the couple straps in the back that are uh, bolted through, and then we put the old seat cover underneath it. But after we sit in it a few times, the wrinkles should come out. And uh, I'm gonna get a little neck pillow for right here, so that'll like it'll make it look a little better and comfier for driving. So today it's like three days from the last clip of the bus build, as you guys seen. But today. I woke up pretty early, went to Home Depot, had to go to like three different Home Depots, and I got this right here for the wall. So I got that, I've been tracing this curve on the bus, like I mean, it is a hard curve. The curve that goes up there, if you can see it, there you go. That curve right there, I took so, I just measured the line from right there and then just took measurements to go up, it worked pretty good. I think it'll work after I cut this last little piece out for the armrest and we slip it in and just tracing it on there make it so much easier. wall or like the thin piece of wood for the first walk not perfect there's little gaps but you're not gonna see this piece you're gonna see the bricks so I'll just make those adjustments on the brick piece but uh like just a little hole right here kind of you won't even see that once I put the brick on it but it came out pretty good just got one more cut but the curve came out pretty good pretty decent give you guys a little update so I had to flip that brick paneling over so it could fit uh, the right way into it. This is gonna like block off the whole bus and like make it feel more like a house. So I'm really excited for this piece. It's gonna change the look. 
I accidentally messed up. The saw just like jerked back and I uh, cut that. So we got a little problem, but I'm gonna hurry up and go run to Home Depot because I'm just gonna get a nice little L piece molding that will fit right there to cover it up. It won't look that bad. You probably won't even you won't notice it at all. So I'm gonna hurry up and uh, nail up the thin wood piece first, and then that, and then uh, head there real quick, get back, and uh, Brad nail that thing up. The final product. Oh my god, that looks awesome! And uh, this trim that I ran to Home Depot to get real quick, that looks really clean on there. So definitely, well, I'm for sure going to do molding all the way around. Just finish it off, make it look nice and clean. That's the next thing. And I got to figure out how I'm going to do all the cabinet doors. Because I have a cabinet down here underneath the couch. Got to figure that out. And then, uh, got to travel three hours to get a propane fridge. So I got to figure out what day of the week I want to do that. Get that. I honestly don't know what to see. They're going to be the end of the video or this is going to be just like the stop to this video and uh, tomorrow's going to be more. But I'm really happy if today's work came out pretty good. It makes the bus look totally different and uh, it's just all the colors I have, they all combine really nice. They look, they look beautiful.